Hug Princess, and welcome to another CVS auction update. That's Cyclic Vomiting Syndrome auction. So if you're not aware, I'll put a link right here for the introductory video that described it. There'll also be some notes in the comments down below. But basically, this is a rare condition that actually I have it, but it's not common. And I am doing an auction to raise funds for the Cyclic Vomiting Syndrome Association. So one year ago tomorrow, I started collecting donations for this auction and 100% of the proceeds will go to Cyclic Vomiting Syndrome Association. So when I say 100% of the proceeds, that's all of the money that is raised minus the one year post office box, which is $134, and minus the money it costs for the shipping supplies and whatnot. So that's like $380. So once all of that is pulled, the rest is 100% to cyclic vomiting. I'm not keeping any of the items or any of the money. It is 100% going to them. Um, and so Kelly and I are very excited to kick this off. Tomorrow at 5 p.m. Pacific, we're gonna do my very first ever live stream. We'll be coming to you live from the bag room and we'll run through some of the items that we've received so far and we'll kind of talk about whatever you wanna talk about if you do want to pre-send some questions, you can email me at warthogprincess1 at aol.com. Now, without further ado, I have four boxes of donations from people that have come in just in the last couple days. So let's run through those and I'll buy their arrival and get a preview of them uh, before we start the auction. So this first box comes from Wendy. And Wendy has sent us some lovely items. We have a four-piece cosmetic set in Romantic Paisley. Um, this comes with this big clear plastic piece. This is new without tags. The trim on the inside is also the Romantic Paisley. The handles are faux leather and faux leather trim. So it comes with this little roll um, case. These are cotton. Inside lining is clear plastic over blue. And I think it's a blue nylon, actually. Yeah. So, very nice. And then the second piece is a clamshell cosmetic. And these have the uh, faux leather zipper pulls as well, the loops. And inside is the same. But these are one of my favorite pieces because they're so great for all purses and bags and just, just great little piece. Um, and then a larger piece, the largest piece of the cotton ones. And it's basically like a medium cosmetic essentially. I mean, it's narrower and taller, but it's roughly, roughly that size. So we've got this set of items. Kelly's in and out, in and out. She's trying to tell me it's time for dinner, but it's not. It's about half an hour. <laughs> Anyways. Okay. Um, the little hipster um, I would say excellent use condition at worst. There's, you can't see anywhere, and she said very, very little use. So um, this is in water bouquet pattern, and it is a great little shoulder or crossbody bag. In the front, you have a little bit of a built-in wallet. You have a big cash drawer and four card slots, two there and two there. I know you can't see it very well because the pattern. Um, this is like a nylon interior, and this is a metal zipper on the front. The main pocket is a nylon zipper, so regular smooth zippers. Inside, you have one privacy pocket on the back, and then it has a little bit of depth to it, an inch or so, inch and a half. On the back, there's a slip pocket, which has a magnetic closure, and no organization inside. So there you go. The strap is adjustable, but not removable. I'll fold that up nicely after <laughs> okay and then we have a moonlight garden sling backpack this is new with tags and this is one of my favorite patterns actually i already have this bag so no worries if you want it come and bid on it um yeah so while we're talking about that the auction will be on ebay um we're gonna kick everything off tomorrow but actually it'll probably take uh uh, probably a week before items really start showing up on there because we have a lot of new things to add and we'll try and get all the pictures of all the items and start getting all the listings up. But you will see them start to show up. And the auction will continue until all items are sold. 
And so if you still want to donate, it isn't too late because we'll just keep adding them to the auction until the last one is sent. So won't ever turn anything away because every dollar counts. Um, but the sling backpack has one zipper pocket on the front and then it has this small pocket which has a diagonal zipper. Inside here you have a slip pocket and two pen slots and a nice bit of gusset to itself there. You got a good bit right there. And then you also have a pocket on the back right here. And this pocket goes all the way across. It's about this big all the way across the bag. Then you have the main pocket, which is right there. So great, great bit of space to the bag. There's the base of it, so you can kind of see that it's a lot bigger than you would think. And it holds quite a lot. On the bag itself, there is a plastic loop on the top, so you can hang a bag charm, a uh, hand sanitizer, whatever you want, or another pouch or hang a water bottle or whatever. And then you have the strap, which is adjustable, and it also can be disconnected, so you can clip it around something um, or not have to go over your head. You can, you know, clip and unclip. All right, and the last item here is a new with tag, still in the plastic, Fireworks Paisley Lighten Up Cooler Bag. So this is the cooler tote. Obviously it's insulated and water resistant. There you go. I'm not gonna take it out of the bag because that's just that much better for whoever buys it. Um, yeah, and thank you very much, Wendy, for all of those lovely items. I will send you a thank you card in the mail as well. Let me just put these back in the box so I know where they came from. And the next box, the next box comes to us from Marlene. And the first item is a on the go in, looks like Gloxinia microfiber. This is new without tags, um, but it is in perfect condition. It's, it's a gorgeous purple color. It's like the purple color that's in the lilac medallion which is a little bit more of a pinker side of the purple than say the elderberry, in case you don't get that from the picture here. Um, the front zipper is metal, but nice and smooth. And the inside is that floral microfiber standard. And the top zipper is nice nylon zipper. Inside you have a privacy pocket in the back and two trim topped slips on the front. And that is it for the inside. The strap is adjustable, but not removable. So it has a pretty generous adjustment on it. And it does have these two end pockets as well. This is the micro diamond quilting as compared to what you see on this bag, which is the regular diamonds. And this bag is the Carson shoulder bag in Makani Paisley. So you have this nice coordinating interior. This is a cotton interior. And there's two pockets here. Slips with a magnetic snap on the bottom. The magnetic snap is on a, a faux leather tab, which is good, I think, because it doesn't really pull so much from... Oh, this is the note from Marlene. Um, it doesn't pull the fabric, so you're not going to worry about the snap pulling through or anything like that. On the back, there's a slip pocket, and it does have a magnetic closure. And inside, there is no organization in there. And then inside the main part of the bag, you have on this one a metal zipper, and you have two slips on the front, and on the back, you have a privacy zipper pocket. This strap is removable, Carson standard, and it has these metal grommets on the faux leather tab there. So you can change out straps, you know, if you wanna put a solid color or whatever, um, or take the strap off entirely and use that as a bag inside a bag, you know, whatever you wanna do. And then the last item is not Vera Bradley. This is actually from The Sack, and this is a beautiful leather bag um, it says the style is, I don't know if it's the style or the color, is Sequoia. Um, so this is the front of the bag. It is a really super sweetly soft, buttery soft leather. It's a gray color, um, like a true gray, like a charcoal, like a light charcoal. It's not green at all, so I don't know if that's coming through 
true on the thing. It does have a bag charm on here and it has several little doofers on it. And it says on, wait, where is it? I thought it said on there, the sack. Yeah, on this longest one, the little tab there says the sack. And let's see what it says about this. This is vintage finished leather, the sack, genuine leather. Lining made from recycled plastic bottles. The sack brand is built on authentic design, handcrafted details, and sustainable practices. And what else? This bag is crafted from a high grade leather with a vintage finish that improves with time and wear. Minor surface variations may be present, making each bag special and unique. Okay, well this is like a hobo style bag. You have kind of a, a nice oval bottom. It's a great size. It's uh, folded over and sewn leather strap here and very, very comfortable on my shoulder. I really like this. I might have to bid on this one too because I definitely don't have anything like this. On the front you have a zipper with leather zipper pull. It's got like a braided and then sewn so it's not going to come off. It even also has a metal clip around it. A nice smooth zipper. This pocket is just a pocket. It goes down to where you can see the seam there. And a nice smooth metal zipper. On the back you have a slip pocket which it doesn't have any magnet or anything. It's just a kind of a discreet slip there, but for your cell phone, and I don't know where my cell phone is. It's somewhere else right now, sorry. It's in the house somewhere. Um, but you have that. There's no side pockets or anything. And then inside you have, let's see. Well, on what I would say is the front, you have two slip pockets, very much like most of the Vera bags of this size. And then on the back, you have also a slip pocket, but the front portion of the slip pocket is a zipper pouch. So it's like they took a pouch and sewed the sides and bottom on to give you an extra slip on the side there. So that is very nice. And then again, there's the bottom, so you can see the capacity of the bag. The bottom does have a semi-rigid something in there, and it is not removable, so it's in there. This tag says that the bag retails for $169. Very nice. But thank you so much, Marlene, for your wonderful donations. And I look forward to seeing what they fetch from the sale. Okay, so let's move this over. Our third contributor to the donations is from Gail. And Gail sent a big old box of stuff. Let's see. Oh my goodness. Um, okay, so this first one is in Java Blue. I think these are all good to excellent use condition in there. If it's not, Gail, yeah, please let me know. There's no note inside that states otherwise. Um, but there are no tags on any of the items. So This one is, I don't know the names of these. Some of these are older styles and patterns, which is wonderful. Um, this is... Like I said, Java Blue. It's a cute little purse. It kind of looks to me like a miniature on the go <laughs> because it, it definitely has the same basic shape and it has the side pockets, same as the on the go. It doesn't have any other exterior pockets, but the shape of it, that's the base of it right there. And it has a rigid bottom. And then inside it has two slips on the back or is that the back or the front? I don't know either the front or the back. And the base is removable. If you just turn it inside out, take the base out. But the strap is not adjustable or removable. It's a cute little shoulder bag or a little kind of clutch. Very nice. Okay, next item, another little mini bag that I don't know the name of the style or the pattern, but it is a beautiful, it's kind of red, yellow, and browns. It's an older one, obviously, but it has the beautiful coordinating trims and a not adjustable, not removable handle that's a cute shape to it and a zipper on top. No outside pockets and there are two slips on the inside. Let me see where this is made. Yeah, it's still made in China, so it's not true vintage, but we're going back a little ways. All right, this next item is something I had not seen before. It is a 
travel cosmetic or a travel organizer of some kind. Uh, again, I don't know the name and I can't think of the name of this pattern, although I have seen this pattern before. Um, but it, it is older, it has this beautiful coordinating trim. I'm not certain if this item was ever used, honestly, because this one, it has like zero wear and no marks on it at all. But it unzips, it has a double zipper and it unzips, oops, sorry, unzips like this up and over, kind of like the reactive um, travel organizer that, that they have now. Um, but it opens up and you have a hanging travel thing there and it tucks in there. You have a clear pocket, a clear pocket, and then you have this big section, which is the main portion, it's that big, and you have two slips in there. It is, um, I don't wanna say truly plastic lined, but it's a very slicky nylon lining, and yeah, and it's all throughout, so it's very wipeable for sure. And then this front section, which is clear, is you know the clear wall, but it also is a clear pocket with a zipper, so, it's, you know, there's two sides to it so you can put stuff securely in there. So you could use that for jewelry or cosmetics or toiletries or first aid kits. That would be a great first aid kit, actually. Um, even for like in your car or everyday thing. And it has a nice little handle on the top. And on the back, there is another slip pocket as well. It's a great little piece. Hi, Kelly. Hi. Um, these items may come from houses with pets, um, but nothing I've received smells like smoke, so hopefully that doesn't cause any issues with anyone. Um, this item is like an accordion style wallet. It's an older style and pattern. It has a beautiful coordinating trim. Um, little to nowhere on this at all, actually. Um, it is like a cream color. It's not white, so it's not like dirty, you know, it's just a darker off-white background with some like goldenrod, black, and like a gray-green. Yeah, it's pretty. And then inside you have the accordion style layout. You have nice animal print in there as well. One side you have a full cash drawer and three card slots, three more. Opposite that you have a clear ID, you have a zipper pocket, big section in the middle. And then on the opposite side you have eight more card slots, four here and four here. All right, then we have, looks like the older style mini hipster type bag. It has a nice long strap that is not adjustable or removable. You have a zipper pocket on the front that is basically the flap of the bag, which is Velcro. And there you have the inside. You have a clear ID window right there on the front. Then you have a zipper closure here. And on the front of this, you have four card slots right here. Two and two. But it's a nice little bag, just like the current mini hipsters. I don't know if that's what this was called. But on the back, you have uh, another big slip, which for me is where I for sure would put my phone. Super makes sense to me. Um, and this is pirouette pink, I think. Yeah, pirouette pink. And then you have this little beauty, which is in canyon pattern. Um, I don't know the name of the style though. This is a cute little crossbody or shoulder bag. It is in great shape. Um, no obvious wear and no stains or marks on it at all. And it has a zipper opening, no pockets on the front, and on the back there is a slip. And I guess you could reverse that, but I think that's the back. Inside you have two little card slots right here in nylon, but the rest is cotton. and. It has a little bit of space. I think this is gonna be one of those tiny but mighty kind of little bags. And it has a semi-rigid bit in the bottom that has been folded. So it will re regain its form when you put stuff in the bag. The handle, it, or the strap rather, is not removable or adjustable, although you could make it so if you just wanted to put a quick release loop there. But it is a chain with the fabric in, in the middle of it. So it's all canyon all the way around. So cute, cute little bag. Okay. Next we have, um, this is an olive green and leather, and it does appear to be real leather, not faux leather, although I'm no expert on that. Uh, I don't know the answer to that. I could be wrong, but like this part feels like real leather and this part feels not so much, but this is like a canvas material. I didn't even know Vera made things in this particular fabrication, 
but it's uh, olive color. It has, it's kind of like the Saddle Up crossbody, which was like a predecessor to the Carson's, but it's a mini. So you have that. It's a snap closure. You have a big slip pocket in the front, and then you have the main compartment. Inside you have a privacy zipper pocket. And like I said, it's very Carson shaped, you know, for the Carson. And then you just have that loop to grab the flap. The straps have the uh, metallic fittings there, and it is adjustable, but it's not removable. And then there's a slip pocket on what I would call the back, although the label is actually on the back there as well. And that is, it's riveted, everything's riveted. It's a very robust canvas type material in the olive color. And there's also a wallet here that I've never seen before. It is Vera Bradley. In the same material and clearly matches the bag it it has two sides it has the snap compartment and then on the other side you have a snap tab and you open it up and so it's like a folded wallet kind of like Riley ish but not so you have three card slots you have your clear ID window on this side you have a clear ID window on this side so you have that flap that goes both ways and then you have wait is that removable no then you have three more, four more card slots right here. And behind that, you have two slips. You have a slip there and a slip there. So like you could put cash in one and receipts in the other, or if you're traveling, put your foreign currency in one and your dollars in the other, whatever. Um, so yeah, very versatile little wallet and fairly slim profile. And there you go. So those two items match each other. And then there is, another bag I don't know the name of. <laughs> I'm sorry, I feel like an idiot because these are before my time, but they're beautiful bags. Okay, so this is kind of like um, a smaller version of the Mandy is what it looks like. Um, it is a tote type bag. It has quilted handles and on the front it has a slip pocket. This is definitely an older style and it has a beautiful trim pattern on the top. No pockets on the back zipper closure along the top and inside you have six pockets you have three slips on each side like that let's see what this says made in the USA whoop, 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 whoop. this here is vintage Vera so if you are a fan of that then this one is for you um, I will look up all of the patterns that I'm not naming now and styles as best I can so that we'll put together a listing and somehow get that out to you um, but yeah this is in great shape I mean it's obviously older but doesn't have a lot of wear there's a little bit of wear on it for sure but, but yeah really nice and you could just tell the quality of the materials it is different back then yeah I had the good old days but made in the USA okay these next two items are the same but one is in brown and one is in black they feel like a microfiber type, or maybe it's cotton. It's, it's a nice material and like old school quilting. It has some lint on it. Don't worry, I'll, I'll get the lint off before we try and sell them. But, but it's like actual stitching that's visible, you know, almost like it's hand stitch. Of course it's not. It's, it's beautiful though, and it feels really soft and supple. On the bottom, there are feet on both of them, little rivets, feet. And they both have two handles like this. Now it's not a crossbody, but it's a gorgeous little satchel. It has a slip pocket here, which you can put your phone. The handles have these little chains on them, so they will lay flat, you know, and you can use it like a clutch or something. Uh, but yeah, so no other pockets on the outside. But then it has that little ball opening on the top. And inside, you have a privacy pocket on one side with a zipper, and then two slips on the other side. And the bag itself has a pretty decent size to it as well. So fun little handbag in the black. And in the brown, it has, is it the same interior? It looks like the same interior. It is in fact the same interior. And there's a tag on there, but not the regular tag. Oh, what is this? This is the regular tag. So, we have Vera Bradley Microfiber Collection. And this is the chain link handbag in espresso. And I'm assuming the other is classic black. 
but I will definitely keep that tag in the bag. And it's the same, same inside. I think that the black one has perhaps a little more wear than the brown one, but they are basically the same, same. No holes or thing. The frame part of the bag, because it is a framed top to it, you know, it does open nice and wide. It is like coated as well. So you can feel that there's hard metal underneath there, but it's coated with like a facing or something. So you got that. And then the last item is a all-in-one crossbody, the older style, so it's a little bit smaller. It will fit like old style phones, like maybe like the 4S, etc., or that type. Um, but it has a removable adjustable strap and also comes with a separate removable wristlet strap. It has the snap pocket on the front flap there. And again, this is older. You have the interior pattern and then you have the coordinating trim pattern. I don't know the name of this pattern either. You have really sent me for some stumping on this, but it is a classic all-in-one. So you have four card slots here. You have three here, the front ones, a clear ID. Behind that, you have two vertical on each side. So there's your two verticals. And then behind that, you have your cash drawer right there. And that compartment zips up. And then the back compartment is your regular. You have two big slips, two spaces, and the coin zipper section in the middle. And that is it for this group. Thank you so much, Gail. That is a wonderful assortment of beautiful bags. Um, and I look forward to finding out what exactly they are. Okay, and the last set comes from B. Smith, like B. Bravo. I, I don't have the name on it, and, but it's a big box of stuff. And this one, um, thank you so much, B, because B, I haven't gone through the whole box, but I looked at a couple items on the top, and every item has a tag that, so it's either new with tags, or she has written on it its condition and what it is called. So that makes my job super, super easy. And this is another generous group of donations. So this first item is the mini cosmetic in Regal Paisley. And it is, you know, standard mini cosmetic. And there's a front pocket. Oops, I just closed it. Front pocket, which is not plastic lined, and then the main compartment, which is plastic lined over cotton interior. All right. Next item is a medium cosmetic. This is in turquoise C, one of the many turquoise or teal type microfibers that came out from Vera in the last several years. Um, so turquoise C has an interior that is actually like the Santiago floral print. Um, or just Santiago, actually, I think it's called. So beautiful, beautiful coordinating inside. This is the older style of the medium cosmetic. And so it doesn't have that extra pocket. It's just one big shape. And this one is um, double diamond stitching versus the regular Vera stitching. So that's pretty classic for microfiber retail side items. And so let me tuck these tags inside so I don't rip them off. All right, next item. This is a mini hobo, or a small hobo it says, in the pattern Super Bloom. It's new without tags. And this bag is, it's a nice fun little size. There's your hobo style. The strap is adjustable and removable, but it doesn't have a short strap, I don't think. Just the longer one, yeah. On the side, here it is on this side, you do have a vertical pocket as well. And in here you, you have room, so you can put maybe a small wallet because it it's, goes all the way over to here. So it's quite a big pocket actually, just like this three quarters of the bag. And then inside, so I would say this is a Carson hobo because this is a very Carson style there. And then you have two slips and you have a zipper on the on the back. Now, one thing about these slips is if you were to put, for example, if you put your phone out here or you can put your charger here and your phone inside, it does have a slip inside the slip. So you have that elastic slip inside the cargo. And then you have the grommet to go through so you can have your charging cord. Like if you wanted to put your power bank right here, put your cord through and charge your phone in this pocket while you're out and about. 
that's a great asset for sure these days because my phone is getting older and I do have to think of such things. Um, yeah, that's what happens. Okay, the next item, this is a Franny, Franny, new without tags in Paisley in Paradise pattern, um, which kind of makes me think that that earlier one that was like this kind of might also be an older Franny, but anyway, it's a little different, so maybe not, but. So this one has a skinny strap. It is adjustable, but not removable. Inside you have a nice bold red nylon pattern and no organization at all. And there's your bottom. The bottom does have a solid base inside of it and the base is removable. So there you go, if you're gonna wash it and whatnot. Yeah, and this is stiff, so definitely has not been used. I think the tags are very accurate on these. All right. Next item, I don't have to look at the tag on this except to see if it's new without tags, pencil pouch in Firefly Garden. I have one of these myself actually, but this is a canvas pencil pouch. So it's, it's not the plastic, it's not the cotton and, and whatnot. So it's, it's canvas, it has two pockets. It has this main zipper pocket on the top and then it has this other zipper pocket in the middle, so like a smaller one. The loops to put it in your binder are these like woven little loops, like rope loops, and so you can put it inside your binder or not. You can use it just as an organizational pouch inside a bag if that was your choice, but it's a nice, 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 nice. Okay, then we have an on a roll case, and this is new with tags in Indiana Rose, and the on a roll case has this magnetic opening flap. Inside you have a zipper pocket, Get untangled here. So zipper pocket with a clear plastic in front of it. And then you have the main section here, which is the roll piece, which has a zipper as well. Inside of the roll part is not plastic lined, but it does have a nice lining inside. This one has some just stuffing in it. The ends of it have like a, like a ribbing, you know, an edging, so it kind of helps it maintain its form. So there's a little trim on it. But these are great for so, so many things. And let me tuck that tag in as well. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then we have a used Vera Bradley Iconic RFID card case, Wildflower Paisley. Um, I would say gently used because it doesn't have, I mean, it's a light color and there's no discoloration, no wear evident at all. So I would say excellent used condition, honestly. Um, yeah, and I will reassess everything as we go to take pictures and post. Um, but one thing I don't recall seeing on any of mine, because uh, I have a bunch of these as well, there's a loop right here. Um, I guess that is probably where that key ring goes on there. There is no key ring on this one. Um, I will make a mental note to put a key ring on there because I have extra key rings laying around just so that I'll have one. It won't be a Vera Bradley one, but it will at least be a ring on there. Um, but you can hook anything on there you want or take the rings off, etc. Obviously, it has a snap opening and then you have a clear ID up here, which opens this way. And then you have two card slots right on the front. And then the zipper section, you have a couple things. Behind the zipper section, you have a slip there between the flap and the zipper. And then inside, you have the two sections with the zipper in the middle. And then you have another slip on this side. So lots of little places to tuck things. Great little piece, I really like these. I, like I said, it's an excellent small wallet for some of your smaller handbags. All right, then we have a Zip ID, new without tags in Falling Flowers um, Neutral. Falling Flowers Neutral. So it's a lighten up. Um, and this was in the time frame around mini medallions. And what was another one in this material? Well, mini medallions for sure, but they had a softer lighten up feel to it, almost like a more cottony versus more nylon-y, you know, but it is lighten up. It has the orange trim. It does have the, the ring on it. It's a normal zip ID. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Then you have another zip ID in, this is in Falling Flowers with the Fox on there. Now, the Fox should look familiar because that also is on Foxwood stuff. But I don't think Foxwood came out with a cute little zip ID with a fox on it like that. Um, but yeah, new without tags and 
perfect condition. I mean, it is definitely new, not used. Super cute, that fox really matches those colors on the, the other leaves. And I love that it has that purple there right in the front. Um, okay, this next item is a wallet and it's new with tags. This is a factory style in Ellie Flowers. I know that much, let's see. Your turn smartphone wristlet, Ellie Flowers. Yeah, there you go. So you have the wristlet strap, which is not removable, but it is cotton there. Then you have a turn lock opening, a sort of an envelope shape to it. You open it up and it's purple nylon inside. You have a couple things. You have a zipper pocket right on the front. So that front wall is a zipper pocket. Behind that you have a gusseted opening right there. So it's like a pouch. You have a slip, you have a main section right there in the middle, and then you have another section and three card slots on the back wall. So nice little wristlet with a turn lock there. Okay, okay I don't know if you can keep all that out of the way. Um, the next item, another factory style item, this is a factory style medium cosmetic in Toucan Party. This is a much more recent pattern and this is new with tags. This is great placement. You have that toucan smack dab in the middle with nice symmetrical pineapples around it. And on the other side, um, nice, you got a couple toucans and, and the pretty drink there. Inside is a solid navy interior. Yeah. And then we have a used Betsy large in uh, I can't read that. Uh, Puccini, 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 sorry, I don't know what that name is, fall of 2008, but I would again say excellent used condition, there's only a teeny bit of wear like on the corner there, on both corners, but I mean just really minimal, the bottoms are perfect, nothing on the bottom corners, no marks or stains on the outside at least. There's a slip pocket on the front, and you have a zipper top. So again, this is kind of like the Mandy, so I don't know what this, the Betsy and the Mandy are quite similar, at least a large Betsy. Um, two quilted handles. Inside you have a, let's see, is this removable? So you have a removable, this is, this is definitely an older bag because this is not something they do now. But the um, hard base is completely removable and it is enclosed in a cotton, you know, the fabric, the main fabric. This looks like there was something that maybe got spilled on it here, but it, there's no scent or anything. Just a little bit of discoloration. Um, inside the bag, we have three slip pockets on each side. So three there and three here. And let's see where this was made. China, so not truly vintage, but definitely an older style. Um, and that base fits right back down in the bottom and when you want to fold the bag you just flip it up and tuck in the straps and it can lay flat. All right, still more. This next bag here is New with Tags Hadley Hipster in Vines Floral. This is a nice bag. There's the back, um, there's a zipper pocket on the back right here. And also a zipper pocket on the front in the same place right there. And I think one of these, let me see, maybe. Oh, I wanted to say one of them might be a charging pocket, but that's not the case. That's not the case. Okay, so adjustable handle that is on loops but is not removable. And the Hadley style has those little tie ends on it. Um, it does have a zipper closure on the top. The interior is patterned nylon and is purple and teal lattice. It has a zipper on one side and two slips on the other side. But a nice size bag. Um, it's, it doesn't have a lot of, like it doesn't have a gusset, so it's pretty trim profile, if you will. It will bulk out, so you can put a lot more in it than you might think, um, but it doesn't have a flat bottom or anything. It's kind of like a hipster, go figure, because Hadley Hipster is still a hipster. So definitely that style of bag. All right, then we have um, 
this looks like factory style beach crossbody in Toucan Party. So you have that sort of plasticky straw construction with Toucan Party in the shape of a crab with embroidery around the outside. It's also trimmed and the strap is in the Toucan Party. The fittings on this one are plastic and the interior has no organization. It is lined though in a navy. So pretty straightforward there. Kind of a simple fun bag, very beachy, very, very beachy. And it does store flat, you just put everything back in. Okay, next item we have, ooh, nice. Um, this is a new with tags tote. It's an iconic tote bag. And this again is in Vines Floral. So this style of tote doesn't have any pockets on the front or the back. And I say front because there's the Vera Bradley label right there. There is, however, a side pocket with a, a hidden pocket. It's a zipper. And this pocket, let's see if I can show you, goes from right here, right here where my pinky is, up through uh, right here. So it's about yay big right there. And the end is right there. So halfway across the bag and the middle two thirds right there. And the zipper is a very, like I said, very discreet. It has that little tiny zipper pull and it zips up. I'm gonna leave that open so hopefully I don't forget that later. But it does have a magnetic snap opening on the top and two quilted straps. And this one does have a trim around the top edge of the bag and on an edging on the straps, both sides. It's a black edging. The interior of the bag has three slip pockets on the back and on the front it has, looks like, hold on, one slip pocket and two pen slots. So two pen slots and a slip pocket right there. This is a great size tote. Excellent. And again, stores flat. Then we have, Mm. This is a new with tags Mandy in Tropical Paradise. I think this is an, a factory style, but I'm not positive about that. Um, but it's a little different than the Mandy that I have, but I really like this style actually. You have a slip pocket right on the front and it does have kind of like this recessed opening so that the back is the back and the front, you can get into it easier so you can just slip your phone down in there. There's no magnetic or anything like that, but it stays closed really well. And this has an interesting shape too, to the taper to the top edge, but it's a nice little tote bag. It's an east-west type tote, good base understanding there. Nice little handles. They are short, but very, very comfortable. And this has a zipper closure on the top and inside you have three slips on each side. So three here and three on the other side. And this is a solid color nylon interior. Wow, okay. Then we have new without tag sunglass sleeve. This is a factory style sunglass case in fan flowers. And it has the um, squeeze open and, and it is new, it's very stiff. So that will loosen up once you've used it a little bit. I know that from experience because I like these a lot actually. Um, but yeah, it does, it opens up easier with time. But nice little sunglass case. It is, um, I would say semi-rigid. So you have kind of three styles. You have your cotton quilted ones, you have these ones, and then you have your clamshell ones which are the hard cases. So this is kind of middle of the road there for rigidity anyways. Uh, make sure there's nothing in these tissues I'm tossing. Okay, the next item, new without tags, large on the go in kaleidoscope. And again, like I think these are very accurately labeled as far as their condition because it's clearly not been used. Like you could just feel that stiffness of the fabric. Um, very, very, very bright pinks. I do like the kaleidoscope. This one has really, really nice pattern placement uh, because it's a very busy pattern, but it is um, geometric. But you have almost dead center, you have a diamond. Um, it's slightly, you know, it's not perfect, but that's pretty good for a pattern like this that you can get all kinds of wonky. 
Um, and then on the back, you have, you can kind of see like that whole medallion piece um, and some of the lighter colors as well. This does have that bright pink trim all throughout the bag, but the strap itself is not trimmed like that. It has metal fittings on both ends and it is adjustable, but not removable. Outside you have one zipper pocket, no organization there, but inside you can see there is that um, pattern on the interior. And that is a nylon material inside. The main pocket is a nylon zipper and inside you have a privacy pocket on one side and two big slips on the opposite side right there. Yeah. This bag is a large to extra large shoulder bag or crossbody. I really like this style myself actually, but that's, that's the size of it. It is quite large and it does kind of have some shape to it, you know, so it tapers up to be smaller at the top and also from the side you can see it's narrow at the top and it does come to a closure like that. On the back there is a magnetic slip pocket there as well and even though it's not perfectly aligned, actually this could have been a choppy connection but it almost looks like it's a continuous pattern piece so that's kind of nice. Like when you look at that you can almost not see the pocket but there very definitely is a pocket there so I like that too. Little features. All right, great bag. Okay, put these out and put this. Out. Okay, the last two items. No, two, three, three items. Oh my goodness, there's a lot. So this one, this is. Where's the tag? Mm -hmm. I can tell you that it's the iconic tote again, and I would say gauge blue. I don't. I don't see anywhere, but I also don't see a tag on this one unless it's in the pocket. So I would say new without tags, maybe. I don't see any, any evidence of anywhere. But here it is in microfiber. Gauge blue is a very vibrant blue, and it has uh, that same hidden pocket on the side. You can see that the pattern inside is the microfiber floral standard. Um, and then the inside organization-wise, you have the snap closure. You have a big slip and two pen slots. And then on the other side, you have three slips right there. Yeah. And again, there's the base of the bag. This does have a semi-rigid bottom as well. Am I just going to tag them on these pockets? I'm sure. Maybe I'll find it later. Okay. So there's that one. This next one is... The Vera Bradley Small Vera Tote in Houndstooth Tweed, new without tags. And so you can see like the Iconic Tote versus the Small Vera. The Iconic is slightly taller and slightly wider. I think the base of them are pretty comparable, but yeah, otherwise, I'll go that way. Um, so this bag again is a small Vera. You have a slip and a zip on the front. You have the hidden foam pocket right here in the top edge. And then inside you have three slips on each side there. And it is a nylon interior, but it's a patterned nylon. And the straps and the bag both have the um, piping trim on them as well. Egg cement. Get in there, strap. Okay. And the last item we have here. Where's the tag on this one? There it is. This is a new with tags. And this one is the Carson North South Tote in Pretty Posies. Pretty Posies was the breast cancer pattern a year or two ago. Year, yeah, not that long ago. <laughs> Um, but it has the rolled, um, not rolled, it's folded handles. There is a little bit of padding to them or stiffness to them, but they're not rolled, truly rolled. Very comfortable handles though. They have these faux leather tabs where they attach to the bag. So they're reinforced, but they don't lay completely flat, but they lay pretty flat. So you can see that they have a little stiffness that will break in a little better over time as well. But they have a really comfortable grab to them and a nice strap drop on them. There is no crossbody strap with this, um, but
that's what I said. So there you have a slip behind the front flap pocket. And you have the flap opening with the magnetic snap, your nylon interior, and your big pocket there that goes with it. And then the top is a metal zipper. You have a zipper pocket on the back and two big slips on the front right here. Yeah. So that is the Carson North South. Excellent. Okay. And that is all from B. Smith. Thank you so much, B. Smith. That is an incredible assortment from you and from all of these ladies. I can't thank you enough for helping to make this auction a success even before it started. It would not be anything without all of you who have given to the cause. And um, tomorrow at 5 p.m. Pacific, we're going live from the bag room. I'll see you then. Bye for now.